and you likely have a gift you want to return or exchange. Keep in mind, every store has its own policy. News 2's Danielle Hensley joins us in studio now. Danielle, experts say to check the fine print before heading to the store. Taylor, that is correct. The Better Business Bureau says some stores have different return policies around the holidays than the rest of the year. Consumer Reports says to follow three rules. First, do not open the box. They suggest keeping the original packaging intact to avoid a restocking fee. Second, keep those receipts. Consumer Reports says having one will make sure you get a full refund. Without one, you'll likely walk away with store credit. Third, bring your ID. Some stores use computerized return systems that detect abuse, so you may be required to show your ID. Experts say you may want to wait before making that return. If you can, wait a little bit after January 2nd. The crowds will be thinner, the lines will be shorter, but you want to try to reach the window January 3rd through January 15th because after the 15th, some stores will not accept returns and give you the full credit. If you plan to return gifts by mail, watch out for hidden cost. Some retailers will give you a return shipping label but charge you for shipping. Remember to confirm the money is back in your account after mailing anything back. Reporting in studio, Danielle Hensley, Count on Two.